This is called a unit circle. And it's called a unit circle because the radius is 1. We can see that the distance from the center out to the edge is one unit. And since that's the case, then the circumference of this circle, which would be 2 pi r, formula for circumference of the circle, would be 2 pi times 1 unit, or 2 pi. Now, one revolution of a circle would be the same as turning an angle of 360 degrees. Let's suppose that we start here on the positive part of the x-axis, and then we start to rotate around. If we go all the way around, then we have turned an angle of 360 degrees. This is going to be called the initial side of the angle. So again, I'm going to start here at the positive part of the x-axis. Now, if I turn one half of a revolution, I would wind up here. And this would be called my terminal side. And that measure would be 180 degrees. So one half of a revolution is 180 degrees. If we started here again at the positive part of the x-axis, and let's say we turned 3 quarters of a revolution, the measure of that angle would be 270 degrees. So 3 quarters of a revolution would be 270 degrees. And of course, one quarter of a revolution would be 90 degrees. Now what we're going to do is define a unit of measure for angles that is different from the degree measure, and it's going to be called the radian measure. And we're going to use this fact that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees, and usually even more convenient, the fact that one half of a revolution is 180 degrees, in order to work our way through this radian measure idea. Now again, if the radius is one, then the circumference of the circle is just two pi. So what we're going to do then is to define a measure of 2 pi radians. I'm going to define this 2 pi radians to be the same as 360 degrees. Okay, well starting again then at the positive part of the x-axis and going one half of a turn one half of a revolution, again would be 180 degrees. But if one entire revolution is 2 pi radians, then 180 degrees, one half of a revolution, is going to be pi radians, half of 2 pi. If I again start at the positive part of the x-axis for my initial side of my angle, and I form that angle by turning one quarter of a revolution, or in other words, 90 degrees. That is just going to be half of this pi radian measure, or in other words, pi over two radians. So what we've decided then is that two pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. Pi over two radians is the same as 90 degrees. And we could keep going here. Half of pi over two would be pi over four. And so pi over four radians 
would be 45 degrees. We could also imagine going to other places on the unit circle. For instance, let's think about starting here on the positive part of the x-axis for our initial side and then going to halfway between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So this measure here, that would be 135 degrees. So how would I figure what the radian measure would be for 135 degrees? Well, in order to do conversions between radian and degree measure for angles, what we're going to do most conveniently is use the fact that pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. And then we're just going to go through a conversion process using this conversion factor. And in order to convert 135 degrees to radians, we would start with 135 degrees and then multiply that by this conversion factor. Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. And what happens is the degree measure will cancel out and we can simplify 135 over 180 to 3 fourths. So really what we wind up with then is 3 pi over 4. Now, radians are unitless. In other words, when we express an angle in radian measure, it is implied that that is a unitless measure. So I'm not even going to write radians here. I'm just going to say that 135 degrees is the same as 3 pi over 4. And it implies radians. So let's do that again. What if I were to convert 225 degrees to radian measure? Well, I would multiply this by pi radians over 180 degrees. Again, we would simplify and we'd wind up with 5 pi over 4. Let's go the other way. Let's suppose we start with 7 pi over 4 radians and we want to convert that to degrees. We would multiply that then by 180 degrees over pi radians. So in other words then, the pi's would cancel and we would be left with degrees. So we would have 315 degrees. So 7 pi over 4 would be the same as 315 degrees.